Hello friends, my name is Rajeshri Angel. In this video, we will see the Butterworth filter approximation in detail. And we will also see how to design the higher order low pass filter using this Butterworth filter approximation. Butterworth filter has a very flat pass band and the roll off of this filter is at the rate of 20 N dB per decade. So suppose if you are designing the fourth order filter, then the roll off of the filter will be at the rate of 80 dB per decade or if you are designing 8th order filters then that filter will be having a roll off of at the rate of 160 dB per decade. So first of all let us see how to design the second order Butterworth low pass filter and based on that we will see how to design the higher order Butterworth filters. So now if you see the transfer function of any second order low pass filter then it can be given by this expression where here this k represents the gain of the particular filter and this omega n represents the cutoff frequency of that particular filter. And if you write this expression in terms of the quality factor q and it can be written in this way. So first of all let us understand how to get this transfer function for the second order low pass filter and then after we will see the criteria for the Butterworth filter designs. By cascading the two first order low pass filters, we can get the second order low pass filter. So first of all now let us derive the transfer function for the second order low pass filter. So for the first order filter we know that output by input can be given by xc divided by xc plus r. Now here xc is nothing but 1 divided by j into omega c and suppose if we represent is j omega in s plane that is j omega is equal to s then we can write this xc as 1 divided by sc. So we can write this expression as 1 divided by sc divided by 1 over sc plus r or simply we can write it as 1 divided by 1 plus rcs. So now if we have two such filters which are cascaded then we can write that V out by V in as 1 divided by 1 plus R1 C1 into S into 1 divided by 1 plus R2 C2 into S. And if we rearrange this expression then we can write it as 1 divided by R1 C1 in R2 C2 divided by S square plus R1 C1 plus R2 C2 divided by R1 R2 into C1 C2 into S plus 1 divided by R1 R2 into C1 C2. So now if we compare this expression with the generalized expression of second order filter then in it you can see that the transfer function of the second order filter is in this form where here this omega is not equal to 1 divided by under root R1 R2 into C1 C2. So in this way you can see that the transfer function of any second order low pass filter will be of this form. So whenever we are cascading the two first order low pass filter to the design second order filter will not be same as the first order filter. Let us say in this design R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R and C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C. Then the cutoff frequency Fc will be equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into Rc. So now for this filter the cutoff frequency of the second order filter should be same as the first order filter. But rather if you see the cutoff frequency of the second order filter it will be somewhat get shifted. So the cutoff frequency of this second order filter let's say omega 2c will be equal to omega into under root 2 to the power of 1 by 2 minus 1. Now suppose if you are cascading the n such first order low pass filter then the cutoff frequency of that nth order filter will be equal to omega c into under root 2 to the power of 1 by n minus 1. So as you can see the cutoff frequency of that nth order filter will get shifted by this amount. So suppose if you are designing the second order filter of 1 kilohertz then the cutoff frequency will not be 1 kilohertz but it will be somewhat different. While in case of the Butterworth filter design if you see the cutoff frequency 
will remain the same whether it is a first order filter or any higher order filter so in this way as you can see just by cascading this filter first order low pass filters we cannot design this butterworth filter apart from that in this design when all the values are equal that that is r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r and c1 is equal to c2 is equal to c then this transfer function will become k into omega c square divided by s square plus 2 divided by rc into s plus omega c square so here this 1 over rc is nothing but omega c so for this design if you see the value of q at the most will be equal to 0.5 so now this value of q basically represent the amount of peaking around the corner frequency or cutoff frequency fc so if the value of q increases you will see the more amount of peaking around the cutoff frequency and as the value of q reduces you will see the higher amount of attenuation at the cutoff frequency so at that time the filter design is known as the butterworth filter design because whenever q is equal to 0.707 then at cutoff frequency you will see the amplitude will be equal to 1 by root 2 times the maximum value so simply just by cascading the two first order rc low pass filter we cannot design second order butterworth filter because to design this butterworth filter we required the higher value of q and that is only possible when we have some sort of positive feedback from the output side and that is only possible when we have a, some sort of active component in our circuit now let us try to design the third order butterworth low pass filter which is having a transfer function of s plus 1 into s square plus s plus 1 so for that we need to cascade the second order filter with the first order filter or in terms of the filter design if we say we need to cascade the second order silent key butterworth low pass filter with the first order rc low pass filter and in this design we will use this polynomial that is s plus 1 into s square plus s plus 1 let us say in this design we want to design the cutoff frequency of this filter as 1 kilohertz so instead of having this s is equal to 1 now in this design we will have a cutoff frequency of 1 kilohertz so we know that fc is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into rc so let us assume the value of c that is equal to 0.1 microfarads and the value of r will be equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into fc so if if you put these values then we will get r as 10 power 4 divided by 2 pi and that is equal to 1.59 kilo ohm so in this way just by choosing the value of r1 r2 and r5 as 1.59 kilo ohm and value of c1 c2 and c5 as 0.1 microfarads we have ensured that this filter will have a cutoff frequency of 1 kilohertz so apart from that we also need to ensure that the quality factor q of this filter will be equal to 1 now to achieve this value of q is equal to 1 in this filter design the value of 1 or to say the value of k will be equal to 2 or in another way we can say r4 divided by r3 plus 1 should be equal to 2 or we can say that r4 is equal to r3 so let us assume that the value of r4 and r3 is 10 kilo ohm so just by using these values we can ensure that we will have a third order low pass butterworth filter which is having a cutoff frequency of 1 kilohertz so in this way just by using this polynomial we can design the any order butterworth low pass filter with our given particular frequency thank you